Hey there, class. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt, Professor Reinhardt to you, and today is the pop-up master class. Last week, we taught about how to make boxes, and this week, I think we'll keep up the different uh, sort of shapes, the different solid sort of shapes, and I'm a little inspired today by my, oh, wait, let me just, I'm a little inspired today by, by the cylinder of my favorite diet soda with caffeine gotta have caffeine. So today I think what we'll do is we're gonna learn how to make a pop-up cylinder. Maybe we'll make a replica of this, oh, this, this container of wondrous liquid that I'm very happy with. Anyways, all right, should we get started? Okay, let's start with a piece of cardstock and this is going to be our base page. Fold this in half, just like this. Now, I was looking through my archives. I'm getting ready to move. I'm moving to San Francisco, from New York to San Francisco. It's, it's hectic, but it's cool. I'm really excited to, to make some new friends. This is the, the only thing I could find. And you can sort of see that these, these huts here are sort of cylindrical. And that's how we're gonna kind of see how they kind of, they got kind of flattened. But you can see how they're sort of cylindrical, not the top. But this is, this is kind of where we're gonna be going with um, what we're creating. All right, next up, we need to actually make a couple circles. I think I'll use this. All right, let's use a different color piece of cardstock. And I'm gonna just stick my can right on top. I'm gonna use a pencil, And I'm just gonna mark, there's one circle. Now, we gotta make two, so I'm gonna cheat. Fold this in the back. Now, all I gotta do is cut that out. So two circles, and I'm gonna fold them in half. And I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna make a parallel cut. One edge of my circle is kinda cut off, sliced off, and it's this cut is parallel to this fold. So now, when we look at our circle, it's kinda got um, flat edges on both sides. And then we're gonna take that circle that we just sliced, and we're going to mark with a pencil on our base page around it, we're gonna trace it. You're gonna notice that I actually lined up the center fold of my circle with the center fold of my base page. Let's make sure that our cuts are the same on both. I've got so much to do, I'm moving and I'm getting I'm giving um, some of my archives to uh, some of the work. Like, you know, I do many prototypes along the way of making a pop-up book. I'm um, indefinitely loaning a lot of that work to a bunch of different places, including the Maza Museum, which is in Findlay, Ohio, and they have all kinds of beautiful children's book art from hundreds of different artists. They're on display for students to see all year long, or and parents, and teachers, and whoever. It's really cool. And another one, another group of stuff that's going to the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature, Nickel, in Abilene, Texas. And I have an exhibit with them that travels all around the country. Maybe one day we'll put together a big pop-up exhibit, not just of my work, but lots of different artists. Because I think pop-ups are really cool. I think a lot of um, a lot of people would enjoy seeing how they're made and, and the artwork that goes into it. But anyways, I'm supposed to keep this short. We've got our two circles. We've got our traced mark. Now the next part we need, how is this, this is gonna be the top of our cylinder like this. How is that gonna, it's gonna stand up there? It's gonna be sort of like a platform. Now we learned how to make platforms earlier. We're gonna have to uh, make sort of a strut in the center. It's gonna attach here and go to our centerfold. How tall is a can? I'm gonna say about four and a half. We're gonna do about four and a half. We're gonna make a rectangle. Four and a half. I use a piece of paper as a measuring tool. Sometimes I can't get the um, 90 degree angle just right with a ruler. So I just use this edge, I'm gonna line it up here. I'm gonna use this for a straight edge, look at that. Sometimes a piece of paper can do, can do just as well as a ruler. We're gonna make a big rectangle. Now the reason why I'm making it so big is because I'm gonna fold it in half because we need to make a really strong central strut. Snip, I need to fold this in half. That way, it's gonna be nice and strong in the center. I'm using some double-sided tape. I'm just gonna cover the in interior of this folded piece of paper. So, let's take our base page. Here's our central strut. See how I'm sort of centering it? Um, well, let's, let's start here. We need to mark on our circle here and here. 
So I've got the tape down. Let's tape it to the base page. Down on the bottom, there's a little edge there that's, the tape is, is too much. So I'm just gonna cut that. Alrighty. And now, see how I've marked this exactly where, on the circle, where, where that is attached to the base page? We're gonna move it up. And we're gonna tape <clears throat> the top of the strut to the bottom of the folded circle that has the, you know, the snip-offs. Just to make this extra strong, I'm gonna turn it over, tape it on the other side. Now, when I'm making pop-ups, I don't typically use uh, clear scotch tape like this. I I, another good kind of tape to use would be like masking tape. It's really, um, it's much cheaper. I also use like an art artist tape that's white. If it's a little stronger, but it, you know, not everybody can afford it. Okay, so we've got this, this, this circle on top and it's like flopping everywhere. Now we need to make the sides of our cylinder. So now we need to make the cylinder here. We know that if the center is, what did we say, four and a half inches, then the sides will also have to be four and a half inches. Now I don't know exactly the length on each side yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make some long pieces. Let's make like a big rectangle. We don't know how long it is, but we definitely know it's four and a half inches tall. So we're gonna use our ruler. Mark it here. And we're gonna mark it here. And then go straight across like this. So, we have a long rectangle and it's four and a half inches tall. You can make your circle and your cylinder any proportion you want. It doesn't have to be just like mine. But your circle can be bigger and the height of your cylinder can be shorter or taller, whatever you want. All right, now we're gonna take this cylinder. We're gonna measure like the outside of this circle. We want this piece to go around the edge of the circle, kind of like that. Can you see it? Oh, we want it like, we want to know the distance from here to here, and we're just doing it by hand. You could figure it out with math, but oh gosh. That, that see, it's kind of like, let's see, let's look. See this mark here? Oh, you can't see it, because it's so light. Oh dear. Um, so see, from here to here, and we're looking at it just by hand. Let's see if we can make it there. You see it? I kind of see that. I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be good. Yeah, that looks like it'll go around. Yeah, that works. This is the mark that goes around half of the circle. So it, we, we need to have two halves, right? So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna make a fold right there. So now I know this is for one side and that's for the other side, right? And this is extra, we don't need this. So let's get rid of it. Now this is gonna become the sides of our cylinder. See how that's gonna work? I wanna prepare this. Sometimes paper is really hard to get it to curve. So we have to do things to kind of loosen up the paper along the way. We're going to fold it. We're going to fold each side in half. And then let's do it again. So I'm folding each of those quarters in half. I'll do it one more time. All right, so I folded this, um, this piece several times. This is one side. This is maybe the left and that's the right. Where is the center? The center is right there. So that's the center. And the center of this one, and you know, I'll show you why we're gonna need to know this in a minute. Center is that one. Now that we've, we've got all our cuts, we've got it all taken care of, let's cut this apart real quick. Does that look like the center? Yeah, so let's pull it up to here, right? We're gonna tape this down using one-sided tape to the base page. 
just like that. And that, see I just taped it down just in that area, not here. That needs to be free because when our pop-up is open, it's gonna look like that. Just to be safe, here's our one-sided tape. Let's tape it on the opposite side too, just in that area. Remember, just in the same. So it's, now it's extra strong. Then we're gonna flip over. Where's that two? We're gonna take that two all the way up. Let's mark it. So right here and up this line to there. So this is where we're gonna tape it, right there. And look at that. Imagine that, that edge goes right to where we're supposed to tape it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it shut. Now, I'm gonna use some one-sided tape. Make sure these corners are lined up on both sides. Tape it right there. Now, all we have to do is connect this edge to this edge. So what do we do? Uh, let's close it shut. I like to peek inside my pop-up when it's closed. Tape together the other side. Oh, look at that. You got a cylinder. You got a cylinder. Now, I may have given myself a little too much on this side. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my ruler. I'm just gonna adjust it a bit like that. Gonna cut it off, going straight down. Now I have to retape it. Look at that. It's like a crushed can. Well, let's see if we can figure out a way to fix it. Well, now, so what I did was I I got rid of um, the tape on the sides. What I did was I just snipped it down the side. Remember that extra circle that I had you do? We're gonna snip it right down the center. Let's see, we're gonna make sure it's lined up. Let's see. With this one on top and just kind of go down. Make sure it's parallel. I'm just gonna tape it down on that side. And then I'm gonna put a little tape here. And it's, the, the sticky side is going down. This side is gonna mimic the position of this side. So see, if you look at it from this way, if this top moves like this, then this bottom should move like this. So when it's flat, they're both gonna be going that way. So now, if you look, there's kind of, see how that, there's that layer inside? Let's, let's reattach. And now, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna attach the other half of that extra circle. So what do we do for the opposite side? We tape this back. So we just retape those sides just like before. Ooh, look at that cylinder. Whoa. Isn't that cool? So there's our circles. And remember we have our strut in the center. And then look at the sides. Now, it's kind of hard sometimes to decorate a cylinder. So you may want to cut off one side. So um, let's get to decorating. All right, and whoa, look at it. I made a pop-up reenactment of my own desk with, with delicious caffeinated diet soda. Wow, that was really kind of fun this morning. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, learning how to make a cylinder pop-up 
with just some paper and tape and some scissors. Maybe a ruler or two. Bye.